Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Dates Kitchen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that 14 day dry age baby back rib kind of experiment that I did. Well, today I'm gonna kick it up another notch. We're gonna do 21 day, that's right, 21 day dry aged baby back ribs. Stay with me as we venture into no man's land. That's right, no man's land. Because no one out there, and I've done tons of research, has ever dry aged baby back ribs, number one, for 14 days, number two, for 21. You're watching Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Stay with me. Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Well, what do I got here for you? This is actually one of my tall fridges. As you can see, I got one on the left and one on the right. The one on the right only has pork product because I'm not sure whether or not you want to mix the pork product on the right with the beef products on the left. But what do I got over here? This one here on the top, that is the 21 day dry age baby back, just plain. No soaking, no wetting, no spraying, nothing. Just plain dry air. Now down here, second shelf down, that is one of the whiskey soaked cheesecloth baby backs. And down here is the third one. Same thing. Cheesecloth soaked with whiskey wrapped up and these have been sprayed and just been chilling here for the 21 days. Well stay with me and I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna prepare this. Now I know some of you guys are like, wait a minute, what's Crazy Dave got over here in the, the left side? What is that on the top? Is that salary? Yeah, um, I'm making some soup for my wife for Mother's Day and I just threw it up here on the top rack. But at the same time I said, hey, what the heck? You know what? Why not sanitize the vegetables? Well earlier that whole top shelf was completely full with tomatoes, celery, carrots, onions, the whole nine yards. So I technically dry aged vegetables? Hmm, that's a new concept. Well stay with me as we join in on this adventure here of dry aged baby back ribs, 21 days. Okay guys, so now I think I have a concept of what I wanna do with one of the baby backs and that's the 21 day dry aged, no spray, no soap, nothing. So follow me into the garage. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out that rack, come back into the kitchen, and figure it out. Okay, so now we're just gonna open up the, the cooler. We're gonna grab this Check rack out. right that here. That is 21 days, dry aged, no spray, no seasoning, no whiskey, nothing. That's just pure dry aged. Well now let's take this into the kitchen and figure out what we're gonna do next. What am I thinking on this one? Um, I wanna rehydrate the meat. And some of you guys are going, oh well, by soaking it, what's the purpose of dry aging it? You're ruining the dry age and so on. No, not really. It's still technically 21 days dry aged. All you're doing by adding the liquid back into it is yes, you are rehydrating it. But you're not losing that dry aged flavor. In fact, in some cases, it becomes more concentrated. So what do I got here? Well, I've got a two gallon Ziploc bag here. Okay, that's perfect for the baby back ribs. And then over here, I got a measuring cup. Now what do I do? I did one cup of organic apple cider vinegar and two cups of some organic apple cider. So it's apple on top of apple. I'm gonna go ahead and put these ribs into the Ziploc bag. I'm gonna fill it up with the apple cider you know, combination mixture here. And I'm just gonna seal it up. I'm gonna put it back into the fridge for a couple of hours so I want it to kind of rehydrate. And then I'm gonna move that into the smoker. Stay with me, you're watching Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Um, one of the, the ribs here penetrated the bag so I had to double bag it. But there's the sauce or the juice. And I'm just gonna kind of rotate it right now. And just semi-coat it. And we're just gonna lay it down flat. Now, I think I'm gonna lay it down flat with the bone side facing up, so the meat side facing down, so I want it into the juices here. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that back into the cooler for a couple of hours. 
Okay guys, so now we moved on to the cheesecloth whiskey soaked baby bags. And right now I'm just spraying them really quick here. It's gonna make them nice and soaked. Now what? if you watched earlier, you remember that little trick I made or showed you with the Jack Daniels spray bottle here. And we're just gonna kinda coat them down here. Get them nice and soaked. And sometimes if you just hold it up and just kind of spray it, it'll actually eventually just trickle down to it. And we're just gonna let these babies chill out for a little bit here. Now after I'm done spraying it, I'm gonna do the same concept where I'm going to go ahead and do the organic uh, apple cider juice. I'm not gonna use the vinegar on this one, but I am gonna go ahead and finish it off with the rest of this bottle of Jack Daniels Winter Blend. Well, stay with me as we continue this journey on dry aged 21 days baby back ribs. Okay guys, so here is the 21 day cheesecloth whiskey soaked baby back ribs. Well, what I end up doing, I ended up using the measuring cup and I put in one cup of the organic apple cider. And remember that's the apple cider juice, not the actual vinegar. And then I used the rest of the Jack Daniels Winter Blend. And amazingly enough, it actually filled it up to about three cups line here, okay? So I put it into the bag, double bagged it of course, and I tossed it around, kind of separate the ribs a little bit, and just keep rotating it. Now we're gonna come back about every 30 minutes here and we're going to kind of rotate them because we want these babies soaked. Well, stay with me. You're watching Crazy Dave's Kitchen as we venture into the unknown world of dry aging baby back ribs, but this time, round two, 21 days. You're watching Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Okay guys, so now this is the baby back rib that was just the dry aged soaking in that apple cider juice. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove this thing from the bag real quick. And we're gonna save the juices because what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use this to kind of base the first couple of hours that we are smoking. So let's go ahead and remove that. It smells really good. And we're just gonna lay that on the tray. We're gonna take the leftover juice here and we're just going to pour that into the measuring cup. And again, we're going to use that to bake. Now, this is the one that is uh, apple cider vinegar along with some of the apple juice. So right now, we're just going to take it and just really quick baste it. And we want to make sure we coat both sides again. So although it's been soaking, we still want to baste this baby. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this one into the smoker. And I'm kind of gonna do a little bit different than the three, two, one method. I think I'm only gonna smoke this one for about two hours or even one hour, but I wanna wrap it up a lot longer. So I'm gonna increase the wrapping up method of it because when you wrap it up, you're kind of keeping that juices in that foil pack. And I think that's what's gonna keep that moisture into that you know, the baby back ribs here, and it's gonna, it's gonna rehydrate that meat. Well, stay with me as we kind of find out what this one's gonna do. Now, coming up next, I'm gonna actually go ahead and pull out those two cheesecloth whiskey wrapped baby back ribs, and we're gonna look at those and see how might they change from the original 14 day one when I kind of unwrapped the mummy on that one versus what's it gonna look like at 21. Okay guys, so now we're going to go into this bag and this one here is the two baby backs wrapped up with the cheesecloth. So let's see what we got going on over here. And remember we had to double bag this thing because one of the bags got a hole in it and we caught it just in time before we lost all that juice. So we're just gonna open these babies up and we're gonna pull them out. Now look at that, that's, that's dripping wet. That's awesome, that's what I want. So we're gonna lay that down in the tray here. 
come back over here. Look at this. I mean, that's just dripping, which is awesome. And we're gonna lay that one down. Okay. Same thing with the juice here. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna put it into a measuring cup. And then I'm just gonna return this one back into the Jack Daniels spray bottle. And why am I doing that? Well, quite simple actually, because I wanna know which one is the Jack Daniels, which is gonna be this one, and which one's gonna be the apple cider vinegar over here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour that right into there. Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Now, right before the break there, we showed you guys that we were filling up that whiskey bottle again with that Jack Daniels. And there you go, look at that. Beautiful spray bottle. And remember, that's actually on one of my videos to show you how to make that quick, simple, easy. All right, so right now over here on the counter, we've got the two cheesecloth, whiskey-soaked baby back ribs. And yeah, you can laugh at me again about my wonderful tying job here. But we're gonna cut into these babies. We're just gonna cut the string off again. And we're going to start unwrapping these baby back ribs. Now watch those fingers there. Anybody know what you can do with some uh, whiskey soaked kitchen string? I'd be interested to find out what you can do with that. Hey, let's give it to the cat. Maybe that'll make a, a beautiful cat toy, you know? All right, so we're gonna unwrap these babies. And you know what, guys, look. Remember how on that 14 day uh, dry aged one, we had a real hard time with the cheesecloth sticking to the actual rib? Look at this. No effort needed at all. And these are just coming off with ease. Look at that. No effort, no stripping, nothing. And there you go, that's a beautiful wrapped look at that. all that juice is in there we're just going to squeeze that on there let that baby sit for a little bit that's actually a lot of a lot of whiskey there okay so we're gonna let that chill out let's go ahead and slightly rotate that tray there and we're gonna work on this one okay same thing we're just gonna trim away at the kitchen string here and we're going to check this one out now when I'm done unwrapping this I'm going to have a little coffee bean who's filming with us I'm going to have her actually zoom in on these and I want you guys to really take a look at the actual meat so we're going to zoom in here real quick as soon as I get this last piece of chicken string off I said chicken, didn't I? <laughs> Not kitchen. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, so now, same thing. We're gonna get really close here as we unwrap this. Look at this. Not much effort needed. We're gonna slowly, I mean, whew, look at that, that's actually gorgeous. And we're just gonna start unwrapping these. Sorry if I hit the camera there. It smells good. What do you think, does it smell good, little coffee bean? really good and that thing's soaked all right guys give me one second here and we're gonna wow you are you ready zoom in really close on this here we go guys it's a scratch and sniff episode here goes the juices look at that oh man Ooh, look at that. get really close i mean talking really close to that little coffee bean keep going closer closer look at that oh man Woo. All right, look at that, guys. We're gonna turn the baby over. All right. This, guys, is 21 day baby back ribs. Oh, wow, I'm actually putting my finger on this thing. Look at this. And it is actually mushy. That's kind of cool. So I think the soaking in the Jack Daniels here um, did a really good job. Wow, look at that. I mean, woo! That is amazing well guess what guys we can't sit here and enjoy it that way it's got to go on the barbecue so off to the smoker it goes
Okay guys, welcome back to Crazy Days Kitchen. Well, guess what, in my hand, I've got these flies buzzing around here because they know where to find good meat at, and that's over here in my backyard. We're gonna turn these babies over real quick. Look at that. I mean, that is gorgeous. Well, we're gonna go ahead and open up this, the Traeger here. Ooh, look at all that beautiful smoke. We're gonna set these babies on the bottom. Now, I'm actually gonna go right here in the corner. Right here, that's the regular dry, dry one. These ones here are the regular my whiskey soaked ones. Oops. We're gonna take this little juices here. And we're just gonna go ahead and pour that all over that. There we go. Alright, we got the Traeger here set a little bit under 225. So we're actually pushing about 200 right now because I want to go a little bit lower. And I'm only gonna smoke these for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Now I know normally on a three two one it's three two and a one. Uh, but again, I'm kind of experimenting with this. So I think we're gonna do about an hour and a half of smoke And then we're gonna wrap it up. Well, stay with me. You're watching Crazy Dave's Kitchen 21 day dry aged baby back ribs Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Well right now we're about an hour into the smoking here And I'm only gonna do about a 30 minute more time on the smoking itself So I only want to do an hour and a half and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these babies up well, the one over here on the, the left, this one here, that one there is the pure dry aged, no whiskey, no wrapping, nothing. And over here on the right, these two, that is the whiskey wrapped and the cheesecloth ones. Now, what I've been doing is the ones on the left, I've been basting with that apple cider vinegar and the apple uh, cider juice sauce. I'm kind of basting it every 30 minutes here. And the ones over here on the right, I have been using that Jack Daniels and the apple cider apple juice blend here. And I've been misting it every 30 minutes to keep them wet. Well, stay with me. In about 30 minutes, we're going to go ahead and pull these babies out, wrap them up, and put them back. Okay, guys. Welcome back to Crazy Days Kitchen. Well, this one here is the baby back ribs that was completely dry aged with no whiskey wrap. I just pulled them out of the smoker. So now we're gonna go ahead and baste them here. And I just got done uh, doing the backside. So we're just adding that apple cider vinegar with the apple juice mixture here. And we're just gonna baste it on here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of that dry recipe or the dry spices that Chef Malin Jones and I came up with. And we're just gonna go ahead and coat these ribs real quick. And just sprinkle it on there. Get it really good on there. Now, our whole goal here is to try to make this pretty wet. So we're just gonna keep adding the juices here. And we want this, you know, pretty good. But what we're gonna do next is we're gonna wrap this up. Now, normally on a three, two, one recipe, you wrap it up for two hours. Well, I'm gonna turn the smoker down and we're gonna have it probably about 160 to about 180. And we're just gonna go ahead and let these babies sit in here for maybe three hours on this. We're just gonna lightly season this again. Just let it go in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna wrap these babies up and I might actually may double okay, so wrap now them. now we pulled out the whiskey coated baby back ribs. I just sprayed the back of them real quick. I'm gonna turn the tray over. Spray it down with a little bit of the whiskey blend here. Get it nice and coated. Throw some of that dry herb spices on it. Spray it down again. And again, we want it really super wet in here because we're trying to rehydrate the moisture or rehydrate the dry agedness of this. So we're just gonna coat these babies down really, really super good. 
And just keep going. And just like the other one, we're gonna kind of double wrap these. And we're just gonna put them in the cooler here, or the smoker, I should say. But we want a lot of, of liquid here. So just keep spraying it down, adding a little bit more of the dry spices. Sprinkle it on there. You see how it's starting to kind of look a little caramelizy. That's awesome. Spray it down here again. And get that whiskey really going here. See how it's nice and wet? You want this packet to be nice, soaky, wet. Now we're going to go ahead and just slowly kind of bring the top together. Okay, guys. So here's a, a tip for you that we kind of figured out here as we were having some problems wrapping these up. When you get ready to wrap up your ribs, lay down two separate sheets of foil. Because I noticed that with the one, this foil is kind of really super thin and it just tears too easy. Well, we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing we did on the last rib. Coat it really, really good. I mean, this stuff's going. Look at that. It's beautiful. Add your seasonings to it. But for some reason, this seasoning is clumping. We're just gonna put that seasoning there in it. Oh, that looks beautiful. Spray it down again. And just get that stuff really super, super, super soaking wet. Eventually, the whole goal is to probably empty the whole bottle here. Don't be afraid to use it. And you see how it's starting to puddle up? That's what I want. Because I want the ribs to ultimately start soaking up all this juice, all the spices, and now start bringing all those flavors together. Now see how it's puddling up? We want that. Slowly bring it back. See how we brought it back to that? Bring this one back. Okay. We're gonna kind of pinch it together. Fold it over. Oh, I just ripped it. That's what we're trying not to do. Then this foil is really, really crappy. Fold it over. Again, fold it over. And just kind of like that. Now, we're going to take these two and we're going to go ahead and put them, grab this one over here. We're going to grab both of them, but we're going to go ahead and put them both back in the smoker here. We're turning it back to the one tray. And we're going to put it back in the smoker. And again, we're going to do the reverse kind of a three, two, one. So instead of smoking for three hours, I'm going to smoke it for an hour and a half. Now, I'm going to wrap these babies up. Uh, I'm thinking about two hours. Uh, wrapping them up, checking them out, see how they're going. And if I need to rewrap them, them again, um, sure, I will. But it also gives me the opportunity to add more of either the Jack Daniels winter blend here or the apple cider mixture for the other one. Well, stay with me. Well, three quarters of the way done into the 21 day dry age Okay, baby, back. Welcome with. back to Crazy Day's Kitchen. Well, I just pulled off the dry age that, again, was completely dry. No whiskey, no wrap, none of that. And that's what this one is over here on this counter. This one here, I wrapped it up. It's been in the grill for about two hours. So we're just going to kind of open it up and take a look at it. And if we need to, we're going to add some more liquid to it. So we want them to kind of... A little on a moist side. It smells really good, actually. So here we go. Now that's still got a lot of moisture in it. Let's see. Yeah, you can push down on that. Very tender. Little coffee bean. Zoom in on that. Guys, okay, look at that. I mean, that is completely amazing piece of meat right there. 
And we're gonna lift it up to see if it's done. I don't think so. Whoa, that's hot. But I don't think that's done yet. But the liquid's still there. I think, wouldn't it? Take really good, so I don't think I need to add anything. There's a lot of liquid in it. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just go ahead and try to wrap it back up again. And we kind of, you know, got a lot of foil on it, guys, because we don't want them to leak out. So we're just gonna rewrap that up. And we're gonna put that back into the grill. So here is the whiskey wrapped, dry aged baby back ribs. Now I only pulled out one of them because I figured if one's this way, then pretty much they're both gonna be that way. So let's go ahead and slowly unwrap this one. It's got a lot of steam on it. All right. It's like opening a Christmas card. Ooh, that's hot. Can you guys see that steam? Woo, that's hot. Woo wee. Look at that. All right, guys, we're gonna give you a chance. Here we go, a little coffee bean. Zoom in there and show these guys that one. Now, a little mushy, a little dry right here. Still really good. I'm gonna try to lift it up. Oh, that thing's hot. But I noticed that this one, it's got a lot of moisture, or a lot of dryness, not a lot of moisture here. So what I'm gonna do with this one is take that Jack Daniels again, and we gotta make sure that this baby's soaked and wet. So we're gonna get this thing nice and wet again. Because again, we don't want this thing to dry out. We want it to be nice and moist. So we're just gonna keep soaking this baby up and spray it. So that means that we're gonna have to pull that second rack, inspect it, look at it, go with the same thing, and go from there. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this thing is nice and moist. And then we're gonna wrap it up and put it back in the smoker. Okay guys, so we're at four hours here. This is the non-whiskey, just a plain old dry aged rib. We're gonna unwrap this thing again. Being careful because it is very hot. Ooh, that's hot. Let it, let's see here. Oh, look at that steam. Woo wee! Can you see that steam? Wow. Oh, that's, that's something else. I'm gonna go over here and be right back. I'm gonna grab some tongs real quick. But that is hot. Ooh. And I think it, it's done. I think they're done. Turn these babies over. They look done to me. And it's just pulling away from the bone. Okay guys, so I cut off a, a piece of this dry aged meat. Now remember, this had no whiskey, it wasn't wrapped, it was sitting in the cooler. I'm telling you dude, funky. Not a bad funky, a different funky, and actually kind of a good funky. It kind of reminds me of if you take your beef and you're aging it for like 50 or 60 or even 65 days and you get that blue cheesy funk that it's kind of hard to explain it through video. You just got to kind of know what I'm talking about. Different. It's actually really darn good. Um, so I'm thinking that's a success. I mean, look at this little coffee bean. I mean, that is awesome. I mean, here's some meat. We're going to... Yeah. You know, that's done. But the funkiness is absolutely... I mean... Mm, got it my finger. Amazing, guys. I'm telling you, dude, I don't know why no one's done this. Uh, I know some of you guys were concerned about, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick, the loss ratio of, oh, well, you're gonna get too much pellicle. Honestly, I don't really think I did. I, I didn't trim anything. Um, I just did what I did. I showed you guys the steps on how to do it. So 
Honestly, man, I'm telling you. 14 day was Look good. Look at that dry age, baby back ribs. Was phenomenal. I'm talking amazing. But guess what? I still got two more left in the smoker right now. And that's the ones that were wrapped up with the cheesecloth soaked in whiskey. Let's go see what those look like. Looks like quality control is here with, believe it or not, the cat. I believe that the cat also thinks that these ribs are phenomenal. Hey guys, man, dude, I can't even. I'm hey, speaking baby back ribs without the whiskey, okay, the straight up dry to a couple of my neighbors. And I mean, even they were blown out of the water. They're like, whoa, this is kind of a cool, good funkiness to it. Like, hmm, this is different. The winner, man, I'm telling you, 21 days seems to be the way to go. Now I only wish that I didn't cook them all because I <laughs> want to push it up to 30 days and see what I get. But I don't think 30 days is going to be the one. I'm really thinking that 21 days is right there. And I'm telling you, it's amazing. Well, I'm going to go out to the barbecue right now. I'm going to grab the other two racks and we're going to look at them. All right, guys, here it is. The unwrapping of the whiskey dry aged baby back. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, got to be careful with that. Guys, just always remember safety when you're opening up a foil pack because this steam can actually hurt you. Ooh, whoa, really, really, look at that. Oh man, that's, mm. Gotta lick those fingers, man. Gotta do that lip test, let's see. I'm thinking, oh yeah, that's done. That's definitely done. So what I'm gonna do here is try to grab this thing real quick. And I wanna get the foil, oh, they're gonna break, yep. I was trying to get the foil off here without really breaking them. So somehow I gotta figure this thing out. But I wanna do something. So I'm just gonna rip up this foil real quick, guys. Um, because what I wanna try to do is not tear it up because I'm gonna still coat these things with some whiskey barbecue sauce. And I'm just gonna throw them back in the grill, you know, maybe 15 minutes or so. There you go. Look at that. That's, that's gorgeous. So I'm gonna open up the other one and then we're just gonna coat it with some of the um, barbecue sauce that I infused with some honey and some whiskey. Okay guys, so now that we've unwrapped both of the baby bags over here, I've got a little bit of a barbecue sauce combination that I whoop, that I made a little bit. We're gonna put that over here. Remember, we don't want to contaminate that one. We're gonna use this one. And this one here, the sauce that I like to use, let me see if I can grab it over here real quick. I like to use this one, the KC Masterpiece uh, original. It's actually really good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Someday I will learn how to make my own sauce. But for now, that one, there pretty darn good. So I ended up adding some honey to it and I've added uh, some whiskey to it and kind of mixed it up really good. So now we're gonna coat this and we're gonna get these babies nice and coated because we're gonna finish them off back in the grill again. We just wanna cut the, the sauce to kind of kick, kick it up a notch because this is whiskey infused barbecue sauce. And they are barbecue ribs. So there you go. Yeah, look at that. We want this to be nice. Yeah, it's already like getting ready to stick because these ribs are nice and hot. And the sauce is already sticking to it. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. Now, little coffee beans over here in the back, she's filming for me. But Little Coffee Bean, what did you think of that sample of the 21 day dry aged baby bag rib? What'd you think of it? It was different. <laughs> different. Yeah, because you're not used to the funkiness stuff yet, are you? Nope. <clears throat> but let's see here. All right, guys. I think this is pretty 
pretty good. Now we're reserving some of that other stuff for a final splash down here. But we're just gonna coat this stuff on. We'll just pour it on, whatever. It ain't going nowhere. There we go, oh, there we go. Why not just do that, right? All right, so now we're gonna return that back into the smoker here. And we're just gonna kind of finish it off maybe, you know, 30 minutes or so. Just enough that I want the sauce to kind of caramelize here. Well, stay with me guys. We're almost done. 21 day, baby back ribs, dry aged. And so far, I've got two thumbs up, maybe a toe. Stay with me. Mm. Oh man, guys, that, mm, that's good. I took a little bit right here off of the middle. You can see it. I mean, that, mm. I can taste the, um, mm, mm, I'm sorry. I can taste the Jack Daniels in it. And I'm telling you guys, man, dude, 21 days, either one is good. Um, this one was more sweeter, and I think because I added the barbecue sauce to it and added the whiskey to it, it had the, the funk, not at the level of the other one, where the other one was like way up here up the chart. This one's kind of a little bit more mellower. Uh, sweeter because of the whiskey. I can definitely taste the whiskey in it. Uh, it's still amazing. But when I really do side-by-side -side comparison, if you're looking for the ribs, go with the Jack Daniel uh, whiskey dry age 21 days. And that's if you want to really kind of like keep the hometown flavor of a barbecued baby back rib. Now, if you're after the funkiness of dry aged, then don't do the barbecue sauce, don't do the whiskey, do the straight dry aging, do your dry rub, and go with it, because I'm telling you, man, you're gonna have some really cool, funky, dry aging rib. Now, guys, remember, you heard it first from Crazy Dave. 14 days, and now 21. You're watching Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Enjoy.